Hello and welcome to the biomedical world. Today we will discuss about the evolution of biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering has evolved over the years in response to advancements in science and technology. Throughout history, humans have made increasingly more effective devices to diagnose and treat diseases and to alleviate, rehabilitate or compensate for disabilities or injuries. The practice of biomedical engineering has a long history. One of the earliest examples is a wood and leather prosthetic toe found on a 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy. Before that, even simple crutches and walking sticks were a form of engineered assistive devices, and the first person to fashion a splint for a broken bone could be considered to have been an early biomedical engineer. Forrest Morton Bird was an American aviator, inventor, and biomedical engineer. He is best known for having created some of the first reliable mass-produced mechanical ventilators for acute and chronic cardiopulmonary care. In the year 1955 release of the Bird Universal Medical Respirator, sold as the Bird Mark 7 Respirator and informally called the Bird. Sir John Charnley was a British orthopedic surgeon. He pioneered the hip replacement operation in the year 1962, which is now one of the most common operations both in the UK and elsewhere in the world. William Fouts House was an American otologist, physician and medical researcher who developed and invented the cochlear implant. House's first design for a cochlear implant was surgically implanted in 1961, but the implant was rejected by the patient's body. A longer-lasting model was developed and successfully implanted in 1969, and it was introduced commercially in 1972. Willem Einthoven was a Dutch physician and physiologist. He invented the first practical electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG, in 1895 and received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1924 for it for the discovery of the mechanism of the electrocardiogram. Wilson Greatbatch was an inveterate inventor, with more than 150 patents to his name. He will be best remembered for the invention and development of the first implantable pacemaker, a device which has improved, saved and extended countless lives since its first use in 1960. Worldwide, around 3 million people currently benefit from Greek Batch's discovery, with an additional 600,000 being implanted every year. Charles A. Huffnagel, MD was an American surgeon who invented the first artificial heart valve in the early 1950s. Willem Johann Kolff also known as Pim Kolff, was a pioneer of hemodialysis as well as in the field of artificial organs. He made his major discoveries in the field of dialysis for kidney failure during the Second World War. In 1945, Kolff successfully treated his first patient, a 67-year-old woman, from kidney failure using his hemodialysis machine. René Théophile Hyacinthe Léonec was a French physician and musician. His skill of carving his own wooden flutes led him to invent the stethoscope in 1816, while working at the Necker Hospital. Michel Murawski was one of the few clinicians in the 1960s to recognize the scope of the problem of sudden cardiac death, SCD. It was his perseverance that ultimately led to the development of the first successful therapy for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, the implantable cardioverter defibrillator, ICD, in the year 1980. Wilhelm Röntgen, professor of physics in Würzburg, Bavaria, was the first person to discover the possibility of using electromagnetic radiation to create what we now know as the X-ray. The image below is the first X-ray Röntgen ever created. It is an image of his wife's hand, you can see her wedding ring in the year 1895. Paul Christian Lauterbur was an American chemist and Sir Peter Mansfield was an English physicist, both shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their work which made the development of magnetic resonance imaging, MRI technique possible. In the late 1970s, physicists Peter Mansfield and Paul Lauterbur developed MRI-related techniques, like the echoplanar imaging, EPI technique. Raymond Bahan de Madian is an American physician, medical practitioner, and inventor of the first Mr. Magnetic Resonance scanning machine. De Madian was the first to perform a full-body scan of a human being in 1977 to diagnose cancer. In our next video, we will discuss it further. Till then stay tuned to our channel and if you like this video please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.